Welcome to the Conservation Society of San Antonio's 2020 Historic Preservation Awards Ceremony. Since 1924, the Society has been a tireless advocate for the architecture, natural beauty, and cultural heritage of San Antonio. These awards recognize superlative accomplishments in heritage conservation. Our first category of awards is the Texas Preservation Hero Award. This award is given to those groups or individuals who have made outstanding contributions to historic preservation. We have five honorees this evening. Hector Cardenas. As a professional firefighter, Hector put his life on the line to save buildings, but his work in neighborhood preservation has made him another kind of hero. Hector served as president of the Jefferson Monticello Park Neighborhood Association and the Alta Vista Neighborhood Association, crafting a neighborhood conservation district in Alta Vista and Beacon Hill, and fighting to maintain housing affordability against the tide of gentrification. Hector also became president of the Friends of San Pedro Springs Park, where he was instrumental in the preservation of the San Pedro Park Branch Library and the Old Stone Fort. His professional and community careers came together in the conservation of Fire Station No. 1 as the San Antonio Fire Museum, where he devoted thousands of hours to fundraising, programming, and rehabilitation. Amy Cassley. As the Conservation Society has demonstrated throughout its history, when City Hall is wrong, responsible citizens must challenge authority to make things right. Amy Cassily's life and work exemplify this ideal. Without her tireless work, the Hay Street Bridge would be surrounded by taller buildings, less visible and less accessible to the public. She led the legal battle to save the bridge from private encroachment and make good on the city's promise of a public park. In 2019, the Texas Supreme Court overruled the city's proposal to sell the land to a developer. Thanks to Amy's efforts, the land adjacent to the Hay Street Bridge will be a public park. Jennifer Nottingham has spent her life dedicated to the conservation of Gray Forest, where her father moved the family in 1959. In addition to a teaching career, she served as a volunteer firefighter and has been a member of the city council for nearly two decades. Jennifer helped form Save Scenic Loop and prevented the construction of a Walmart at Bandera Road over the Edwards Aquifer Contributing Zone. She led the nine-year effort to create the 13-mile-long Scenic Loop, Bernie Stage Historic Corridor. As president of Hill Country Planning Association, she made citizens aware of development impacts on fauna, flora, and water. She also served on the Southern Edwards Plateau Habitat Conservation Plan and the Citizens Advisory Board for the Watershed Improvement Advisory Committee. Jennifer was tenacious in her efforts to create the 45.3-acre Madla Natural Area in Gray Forest. A longtime partner of the Conservation Society, Jennifer Nottingham has been a tireless voice for conservation and a true Texas hero. Paul Ringenbach has spent decades dedicating his time and talent to activities that embody the mission of the Conservation Society of San Antonio. A retired Air Force Colonel and USAA executive, Paul has volunteered for many organizations, including the Bear County Historical Commission, San Antonio Public Library Foundation, Historical Committee of Shirts, as well as serving on the Conservation Society Board. When the Conservation Society first proposed the inscription of the San Antonio missions on the World Heritage List in 2006, it was Paul Ringenbach who quickly became the principal author of the nomination. An historian and author of six books, Paul worked with myriad city, county, and state agencies and consulted with experts from all around the world to complete the 344-page nomination. 
Paul carried the precious nomination forward to success in only nine years. Everett Fly, a San Antonio native and resident, has practiced for 40 years as a licensed landscape architect and architect. He is a fellow of the American Society of Landscape Architects. He received the 2018 Champion of Preservation Award from the San Antonio Power of Preservation Foundation. President Barack Obama awarded him one of 10 2014 National Humanities Medals for his body of work preserving the integrity of African American places and landmarks. Everett is known for his efforts to discover and restore cemeteries, ranches, and other Bear County sites central to African American history. He has also been a leading advocate for the preservation of the Woolworth Building and the civil rights history found throughout Alamo Plaza. The Special Recognition Award is bestowed on Joanna Parrish, a preservation hawk and instigator of the Neosa Rain Rock. Joanna Parrish has, for over 50 years, never let her guard down on behalf of the Conservation Society. Inspired by her mentor, Ethel Wilson Harris, she adopted a we-can-do-that attitude that thrust her from a Neosa volunteer to Neosa chairman to president of the Conservation Society. As president, she directed the drive to get bond funds for the municipal auditorium and helped save the Minger Soapworks, Rand Building, Stephen Stackey Buildings, and Fairmont Hotel. Joanna rekindled the annual Las Posadas and brought Maria's Tortillas all the way from Mexican Market to Washington, D.C. for the Folklife Festival. She and her husband Bill restored the 1860 Brinkman Home store and blacksmith shop in comfort. In addition to decades of service to the Conservation Society, she helped launch the Professional Tour Guide Association. While treasurer of the Fiesta Commission, she dreamed up the idea of a fundraising medal, forever changing the course of Fiesta history. Viva Joanna! The Bruce McDougall Young Preservationist Award honors the conservation accomplishments of an individual under the age of 40. Our honoree is Anna Now. Starting with a BA in Art History and an MA in Architectural History, Anna completed a Master of Science in Architectural Conservation at the University of Edinburgh and has just successfully defended PhD dissertation at University of Texas, Austin. At the same time, she has been working with Ford Pal Carson Architects as Architectural Conservator and Historian. Her projects include restoration work at Missions Concepcion, San Jose, and Espada, and she has amassed an impressive resume including documentation, project management, condition assessment, tax credit certification, and design specification. She was a key part of the team that nominated the Missions for World Heritage and has a very bright future ahead of her. I want to thank the Conservation Society of San Antonio for this uh, great honor. Uh, I've admired the work of the Society for generations and uh, it's such a quality advocacy group. I'm very, very pleased to be considered and awarded in this group of awardees. Uh, and I look forward to working with the Society and the City in the future uh, to make sure that San Antonio maintains its place uh, in conservation and preservation going forward. Twenty twenty Historic Preservation Awards for the Built Environment. The jury for the twenty twenty building awards consisted of Denise Alexander, Properties Manager for the Galveston Historical Foundation, Frank Rabelais, Preservationist and Developer in New Orleans, Louisiana, and Christopher Meyer, Preservation Specialist for the Texas Historical Commission in Austin, Texas. The restoration of the Carnes County Courthouse exceeded even the lofty standards of courthouse restoration in Texas over the last three decades. 
the incredibly ambitious recreation of original elements like the clock tower, the turrets, and the mansard roof astonished the jury with their faithfulness to the original design. Likewise, the careful restoration of original wall finishes, doors, and woodwork throughout the interior made this a public project like no other. Carnes County residents can take great pride in this inspiring restoration. St. John's Seminary, built in 1920, right next to Mission Concepcion, this red brick and terracotta tiled collegiate Renaissance building has languished in ruins for years. Thanks to the careful work of Mission DG Limited, the project has become the frontispiece for a new residential development. Instead of starting over, the developers repurposed the building and brought back its original beauty. The jury applauded the high quality of the workmanship, the careful attention to detail, and a suitable adaptive reuse of the seminary as apartments. Maverick Carter House. Built in 1893, this exquisite Romanesque revival mansion featured a stone exterior, port cochere, and even an observatory. Thanks to the careful stewardship of the Maverick and Carter families, the home opened as a first-class house museum, boasting not only a series of fascinating rooms, but a substantial and significant collection of artifacts original to the families. The jury praised the careful and comprehensive restoration of the building's stone facade, slate roof, and windows. The jury also cited the impressive landscape treatment that highlights and respects the original home. The Corand House. Like many homes, the two-story residents in the historic King William District had suffered from piecemeal additions and adaptations that obscured original details and compromised the architectural vision. The restoration removed two porch and stair additions that not only obscured the lovely brick and cast stone facade, but also a beautiful second-story stained glass window. The jury praised the excellent decisions made during the restoration. The Savoy Hotel was built in three sections, principally by Alfred Giles in the 1800s. The oldest section around 1857, while the two more significant sections by Alfred Giles in 1883 and 1893. Like so many structures downtown, the buildings had been altered, neglected, and certainly a potential target for redevelopment. The Savoy is being honored tonight for a restoration that features exquisite stonework, where more than half of the original masonry required repair or replacement. The jurors were also impressed with the transformation of the space while preserving original entryways and interiors. The Jefferson High School Fountain was a pioneering preservation project by the Thomas Jefferson High School Historical Preservation Society. The 1936 fountain, built just four years after the iconic school building, had fallen into disrepair. Our jurors applauded the effort of the school boosters and alumni to bring new resources into one of San Antonio's most treasured landmarks and activate a formerly neglected public space. The restoration featured extensive replication of tile and frog-shaped fonts and will encourage more use of the space and more preservation projects. Hot Wells of Bear County. This preserved ruin documents a rich history of a San Antonio spa that attracted the rich and famous from the late 19th century onwards. The former spa and hotel underwent many iterations over a century, suffering fires and rebuildings before declining and becoming overgrown in the last 40 years. Hot Wells today is a scenic public park space adjacent to the Mission Reach that is engaging and scenic thanks to the efforts of Bear County and the Hot Wells Conservancy. The jurors praised the thoughtful interpretation at the site. 